All right. Hey there. Welcome back, all you cats and kittens. It's Foster here with another screencast o -matic video. And this time I'm going to show you how to do your name sign. Some of you are done, and some of you remember we drew uh, our own version of that. And the only parameter on that was that the letters can't be more than four and a half inches high because our wood is five and a half inches and we need to leave a half inch border on all sides. So that's all I need is my name on a object uh, and my name should be four and a half inches or no more than four and a half inches. So um, there's a couple different ways to do this uh, and I'll show you what I think is the easiest way uh, which is doing your name first and then putting the object behind it. So I've got my on shape open here as you can see and I click create document and then I give it a title so usually I'm going to put this what class it is the period and the uh, assignment and then my name click OK so again here's my workspace uh, I'm starting with a sketch so I really just need to see the front face of this I don't need this uh, isometric 3d view so if I go up to my cube on the right here uh, and click front, it will square that up and show me just the front plane. And again, sometimes it's easier hiding those other planes. So then I just have this blank paper is what it looks like to me. So when we do this in class, obviously we cut our piece of wood first and then we engrave our name into it. Here, it's much easier to do if we start with our name. So again, I'm going to start with a sketch. So I click on sketch up here and then it brings up my sketch box and it asks me which plane and I'm going to put it in the front plane. Uh, and then instead of starting with the rectangle, I'm going to start here with my text box. And when I do my text box, it doesn't give me anything to type text into. The first thing I have to do is make a box so that the text can go in there. So I just make a rectangle and then I'm going to put in my text. You can see this opens up. I just type it in and you've got a few different fonts you can choose from. Um, not too many though. It kind of gives you a little bit of an idea what they look like. Um, but there, there aren't too many. There's some limitations as far as text goes. You can make it bold. You could do italics and that's about it. So now when I click the green uh, check, it's going to do this box and it made me a real nice box but what I need now is to get my dimension so if you remember I want my letters to be four and a half inches high so when I click my dimension tool and click on this line I can pull that out and I can see this is pretty small this is 1.6 inches so I'm just going to go 4.5 and it's going to get real big so I scroll my wheel towards me and make it so that I can uh, see it better. So when I try to dimension this, if I tried to dimension this line, it's not going to let me change this. So when I put a number in, it says, oh, something can't be happening here. The reason being they don't want you, the height and the width are contained. Once I got the height of this, this is what the width of it has to be. And that's kind of like your sign. Again, if you have you know, if your name is Ian, your sign's going to be a lot shorter uh, than, you know, if your name's Joseph. So you've got to decide which uh, height it is, and then it gives you the width. So here's my letters. That's all this is, two-dimensional sketch of my letters um, floating in space, more or less. So now I need to make an uh, object for this. So this is my sketch number one. I'm going to save that as its own sketch. Technically, I could do both of these sketches in the same, but there's a reason it's a little easier to do them separate. So I'm going to do another sketch, and this time my plane is the same. It's just on this front plane, um, and I'm going to do the rectangle box. So if I'm going to take my, my rectangle, I've got my cursor just up above my sign there. Looks like it's about a half inch or so. And voila. 
So now I've drawn the rectangle behind my name. So if I were trying to be really accurate here, what I do is do my dimension tool here. And I can show you that. So I'm, I'm back to my sketch. And I want to know that this dimension, oh, let me cut, click my dimension tool. There we go here between these two points. And I can make that half an inch. I can make this a half an inch. I can also uh, grab a corner of my object and move it around a little bit. So if I needed to adjust the size, I'm just doing this by eye. But obviously, if you wanted it to, to fit well, you've got to figure out the balance um, with your name in the middle. So now I've sketched my box around the outside and my name. So these two are, again, just drawings uh, that are showing me uh, what I got. So now I need to make this an object. So what I'm going to do now is extrude. So I come back up to my extrude button. And what I'm going to extrude is this whole thing. So I want to, um, I want to make this a 3D object, right? So remember when you extrude, it's nice to have it at a little bit of an angle. As you can see here, my letters are in the back of this because this extruded forward. Well, I don't want that. I want this to go back. So now you can see my letters are in the front uh, and my object is now a one inch, because I didn't change that, one inch thick uh, extrusion that is a new one right so what i did you remember on the l block we had to remove material uh when we took away that corner this i just extruded everything and now we're going to remove what we did in our sketch two uh or excuse me in our sketch one the actual name so i come back to my extrusion tool again the start at the top here i'm going to remove material and the selection that I'm going to remove is where the letters are. And I can click this whole thing and get it. I could also click over here, Sketch 1. You can see it tells me that what I'm doing is the face of Sketch 1. Um, I need this to go that same direction as my other extrusion. So it has to go back. So it cuts into the front of my sign. But I don't want it to go a full inch. That would go all the way through. I wanted to go a quarter inch, so I put in 0.25. And then I can enter, click there. And then you can see I have my letters, and they are engraved into this. If I click my green arrow, it's easier to see. So now it's like they've been routered into the front of it. They're not on the back. They're just on the front. They go down a quarter of an inch. That looks pretty good, but I want to do one more thing. Uh, this front square edge uh, should be in our, our classroom sign would be router to round it over um, for aesthetics, uh, for splinter. And so I'm going to replicate that with my fillet tool. So what I'm filleting uh, or rounding over is my uh, edges, my front edges here. So I want to make sure that all I'm grabbing is, and give me a, a zoom out a little bit and put this at a little bit more of an angle, then I can tell that I'm just filleting this front edge. So like we do on the table router, we're just taking that edge and instead of being a square 90 degree edge, we're rounding it over. And so our, our radius, the factory setting is 0.2 inches. We're gonna leave it at that. That works just fine for us. And then as you can see, uh, it's just on the front. We've rounded our front face edges and there's my name. I'm pretty happy with that. I wanna get credit for this. Um, I got my snipping tool. The snipping tool comes up. I'm gonna tell it I want a new one. And I'm going to start, everything goes fuzzy. And then when you do this, when you uh, send me your picture, uh, please make sure you got it at an angle so I can see that you got the, the three dimensions to it. Uh, and then once you do that, you can just send me that. 
much easier for me to see when it's zipped like that. Save it, put it in the folder where all of your drawings are, uh, and then send me a copy. And there you have it. Uh, again, if you're having any trouble with these, please feel free uh, to set up a, a quick Teams meeting with me, and I'll walk you through it, and uh, we'll get you get you set up. All right. Thank you.